On March 27, 2021, this Californian soul saw the number 565 from the Blue Book of the Marian Movement of Priests. This message was originally given to Father Stefano Gobi in Cusco, Peru on February 22, 1996 on the Feast of the Chair of St. Peter the Apostle. Jesus has founded his church upon the solid rock of the Apostle Peter. To Peter, Jesus has given the task of being the foundation of the church and of safeguarding all its truth. For Peter, Jesus has prayed that his faith might remain intact throughout the whole course of human history. To Peter, he has given the sure guarantee of his victory, the powers of hell will not prevail. The powers of hell will not prevail. The task entrusted to Peter is handed down to his successors. Thus the Pope becomes today the foundation upon which the Church is built, the center where there converge her charity and assurance to ever maintain intact the deposit of faith. The powers of hell will not prevail, despite the fact that Satan has broken loose, sowing divisions and schisms, these deep wounds which have shattered the unity of the Church, the mystical body of my Son Jesus. All the various Christian confessions, which in the course of the centuries have separated themselves from the Catholic Church, represent a victory of the adversary against the unity of the Church, that unity willed by Christ and ardently implored of the Father. And now the effort is being made to rectify all these errors, by walking the path of reconciliation and ecumenism. However, the coming together of all the Christian confessions in the Catholic Church will take place with the triumph of my Immaculate Heart in the world. The powers of hell will not prevail, despite the fact that my adversary has broken loose in order to bring you to a breakdown of charity. For this, he launches a strong attack on the Pope, who presides over all the charity of the Church. And so division has entered into her very own structure. Above all in the division which often sets bishops against bishops, priests against priests, faithful against faithful, Satan has succeeded in building up his triumph. But the powers of hell will not prevail, because, after the painful period of the purification and the great tribulation, the Church will shine forth in all her light of charity, of unity and of holiness. And this will be one of the greatest benefits which my motherly love will bring to the Church. The powers of hell will not prevail, even if now they have reached the point of contesting the Pope, of opposing him openly and of rejecting his magisterium. Thus, errors are being spread about which draw many away from the true faith, and sects are being propagated which draw to themselves many children of the Church. Never as in Latin America has the great spread of the sects represented such a victory on the part of the powers of hell, who appear to have the upper hand, but I am calling all my children to the greatest fidelity to the Catholic Church, I am instilling in them a love for the Church, zeal for her unity, passion for her holiness, and strength for her work of evangelization. And thus, through those who are consecrating themselves to my Immaculate Heart, I am bringing to nothing all the effort which Satan is exerting, in his attempt to draw many of my children away from the one and only Church instituted by my Son Jesus. And by means of my extraordinary and motherly intervention, once again, the powers of hell will not prevail. The power of Christ will be revealed, when he brings his reign of glory into the church, and then all the powers of hell will be imprisoned, so that they will no longer be able to do any more harm in the world. Then the holy church of God will be able to pour out upon all the nations of the earth the greatest splendor of its truth and its holiness. Thank you for supporting my channel. Please like, comment and subscribe. May God bless you and keep you. Our Lady, Mother of the Church, pray for us.